Hi, welcome back to Mr. Mig's Classroom. I'm Mr. Mig, and in this episode, I want to talk about Class E Echo Airspace. So if you've been watching, we have been uh, doing the FAA Part 107 exam review uh, tutorials, whatever you want to call them. And in my last uh, long video for the uh, exam, I was talking about airspace, and I didn't get to get into Echo. So I've had a lot of requests online for people to ask me to talk about Echo. So here I am talking about Class Echo Airspace. Uh, so here we'll just get started off with what is class echo you can think of it as the um i don't want to call it least important but it's not but it's definitely the lowest uh controlled airspace so here what we have on this slide it's saying echo usually starts at 1200 feet agl meaning above ground level it goes up to 18,000 feet msl and that's because that's where class alpha airspace starts class alpha airspace airspace starts at 18,000 feet uh, means sea level, and again, that's to keep it even over the continental United States. Um, and so what does this mean? So basically, if there's no airport around, if there's nothing around, Echo airspace is, airspace is going to start at 1,200 feet AGL. Now, if we have airports around, that's going to change that. But think of the default of Echo as 1,200 feet AGL if nothing's around. Say we're in the middle of a cornfield in Nebraska and there's no airport anywhere in sight, Echo airspace starts at 1,200 feet AGL. But if we want to get a little bit more specific, we'll see purple coloring, or the magenta really, coloring on maps to denote that we have echo airspace. So here's where echo, here's where things get tricky. And echo is definitely the trickiest airspace because really there's four types of echo. Um, there's the echo I just talked about. So all this nothing, um, if you can see my, let me see. So here you'll see, like I'm making a little red circle with my mouse, like where there's no airspace around, we're in echo airspace at 1200 feet AGL. Everything underneath 1200 feet AGL is going to be at Gulf airspace. Um, so that's one type of echo, right? Then we have another type of echo. Let's start with this echo right here. So this is, whoops, I didn't mean to um, open that up. So this right here, we'll, we're looking at the Martin County Airport right here, and we see this shaded magenta ring around the airport. What this is telling us, when we see this shaded magenta ring, it's giving us a really small airport, something that probably has no commercial airline traffic whatsoever, maybe just small planes. It could be for whatever type of use, private planes or maybe uh, agricultural use, whatever it might be. What this is saying is that this echo airspace doesn't start until um, 700 feet AGL. So basically what they're doing is they're bringing that default 1200 feet AGL echo down to 700 feet AGL for this airport. So it kind of looks like um, if we go over here to this, over here, remember here, this blue here is echo. Everything here is echo. So above these other airspaces is echo. Well, when we have these smaller airports, what they'll do is they'll just bring that echo down a little bit further. Instead of starting at 1,200 feet AGL, it starts at 700. Here's a good indication of that. So that purple here is showing clash golf. And then we got that echo right there starting at 700. Don't let those colors confuse you. Um, this is just a diagram kind of showing you a cross section of the airspaces, right? So if it's a shaded echo, like this one, shaded, sorry, if it's a shaded magenta echo, then the echo starts at 700 feet AGL, meaning everything beneath 700 feet AGL is going to be class golf airspace. Um, everything above 700 feet AGL until we get into um, 18,000 feet MSL, right? Everything between 700 feet AGL and 18,000 feet MSL is going to be echo. Uh, all right, so that's one type of echo. I don't want to confuse people. So if this next thing confuses you, honestly, just ignore it. But I do want to state it because it's the truth. In this echo right here, where we have the shaded magenta, technically, it's still controlled airspace. However, you don't actually need ATC permission. Now, if you're flying a drone, you're not supposed to fly above 400 feet AGL anyway. But if for some reason you are at 700 feet AGL, you technically don't need ACT permission if you're flying in there. It's just telling you to be cautious uh, because there could be some more air traffic in there. But if that confuses you, if it's easier for you just to know, hey, if you're in class echo airspace, you need ATC permission, 
honestly, you'll probably still get most of the questions right like that. But I do want to throw it out there. Echo, yes, it's controlled airspace, but in this type of Echo and in that 1,200 feet AGL Echo, you technically don't need ATC permission um, in those Echoes. Okay, let's move into the next Echo. So right here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. We have this Pitt Greenville um, Airport right here. And now you'll see that we have this dashed magenta line surrounded by the shaded magenta. In this type of airport, this is telling us that this echo starts at ground level. So if we're inside this dash magenta line, now our echo is starting at ground level. In that case, you do need ATC permission to fly in this area here surrounding this airport. Um, and that's because at this airport, though it's a very small airport, it actually will get commercial air traffic. So I, I think American Airlines flies into Greenville, If uh, Green, this is Greenville, North Carolina, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, it gets very few flights, and that's why it's an Echo and not, you know, a Delta or Charlie or something. But it does get some commercial flights, so that's why they reserve all the space starting at ground level. Um, it's controlled airspace, and you cannot fly here anywhere inside that um, dashed magenta circle. You cannot fly there without ATC permission. If you're outside of there, if you're in this shaded area, that's when it's, again, 700 feet AGL. Um, so that's the difference there. All right, so if it's a dash magenta line, you need ATC permission, and Echo starts at ground level, and it goes all the way up till Alpha airspace at um, 18,000 feet MSL. If it's a shaded magenta circle, then it does not, Echo airspace does not start until 700 feet AGL. So outside here at, say, 400 feet AGL, Outside of the dashed circle, you were still engulfed at 400 feet, right? Um, okay, so then there's one more echo I want you to be aware of, and then we'll end here. Um, this one, I don't find it's tested very often, but I don't want to leave you without talking about it uh, because it, it it is still, you know, something maybe you'll run into when you're um, flying drones or whatever. Maybe you will see it on the test and you want to know what the heck this is all about. All right. So here we're in this uh, North Myrtle Beach Airport right here, right? So here's the Myrtle Beach Airport. And this is a solid magenta circle, a solid magenta line. So that's going to be a class Charlie airspace. This over here, this North Myrtle Beach is a dashed blue line. So that's going to be a Delta airspace, right? We already talked about this today. This Shaded circle is our echo that starts at 700 feet, right? So up below that, you're in Gulf airspace. But then we have these dashed rectangles coming off of our dashed blue line. Sometimes you see these. Sometimes they come off Charlie's too, actually. I think the Raleigh Airport has that. All this is doing is just giving a little bit more space because you see this, that's the airstrip right there. And so the airplanes are usually coming in these ways. So it is saying here that Echo starts at ground level in this rectangle area. So this circle is obviously delta. But then in this rectangular area, echo is starting at ground level. We call this like E4, echo 4 airspace. Um, and so I just want you to be aware of those. So that's a controlled echo that's not surrounding an airport. It's cut off by delta. And these technically you also um, do not need ATC permission, though I... I think most of the DJIs aren't going to allow you to fly in these areas. And, and my advisement is that uh, maybe you do contact ATC and be very cautious because you could get airplanes. Obviously, they travel through here. So, um, But anyway, it's giving you a caution, and uh, that's what that is. That's a different type of echo there. just want you to be aware of. Anyway, um, Thank you for watching Mr. Mix Classroom. Please be, put your comments in the comment section below. Give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to super like my, or super thanks my videos, I greatly appreciate that. A super thanks is giving a donation to the channel. A number of you have already super thanks, and I really, really appreciate it. It means the world to me if you super thanks or join the channel, which would give a monthly contribution. So super thanks is a one-time contribution. And even if you give one or $2, it's greatly appreciated. If you do a monthly contribution, again, even if it's one or $2 a month, Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Mr. Mig's Classroom.